Hold up, not ready. Just a podcast. I'm your host, Edder Prads with me, and son tells me compia. Felix. Let's talk about the Northman. This is I don't from, want to. This is from visionary director Robert okay. Eggers. Fuck comes the Northman. An action-filled epic that follows a young Viking prince on his quest to avenge his father, save his mother, and kill Fjolnir. It's away. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do that again, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Keep this into the, for for the end. Where I'm gonna, is fucking- I might have to. <laughs> <laughs> From okay, visionary Robert Eggers comes the Norseman, an action-filled epic that follows a young Viking prince on his quest to avenge his father, kill his mother. No, see? You got me fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> kill, kill his mother. Wait. Avenge his father, save his mother, and kill Fjolnir. <laughs> because the first way I did it was beautiful. And now you had me try to do it. I got one and I fucked up. So whatever. We watched the Norseman, man. Um, <laughs> you fucking asshole. Oh, my God. Um, I felt really really like a fake fan dog this past week you were like i saw the movie with your people and i was so confused oh yeah (laughs) this was my most anticipated movie of the year man so far like fuck aquaman's no well black panther behind black panther this was i was so hyped with you know yeah and oh you fucking were i I was following the u.s release date but pendejo i forgot some mexican bread so we got it a week early for some reason. So finally, we're going to release a movie like they do in the States, like a day before it comes out. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to feel professional and pretty cool. Thank you, Mexico. Yeah, it's it's a strange thing that Mexicans normally ha- like get things first. Especially stuff like this. Yeah. We get it after. Farty shit. After. I, I feel mean, like we get we, artsy you're Mexican also, after. Cabrón. Huh? You're also a Mexican, Cabrón. I'm a Mexican. That's why I said we. Mm. I feel like we get artsy fartsy stuff like this. I, I almost month like by the time it's on v you know video on demand or whatever there sometimes we get it so i was a little shocked how why we got this early or whatever mm-hmm. like fantastic beast the big budget stuff makes sense because they want to get that out um around the world to ready to get to go or whatever yep but this i don't know i didn't feel like there was a hype and the theater was full where i went dude almost every american podcast i've heard for the last month or a couple of months has been like wet for this movie i i mean since a political agenda behind them but they're wet political agenda no no, more like uh oh it's not gonna be woke it's gonna be no no whammies or no whatever and i'm like it's a fucking movie come on just chill why are you thinking that way anyway no not, not me no i'm saying that the other dudes i'm saying why are they think, why are shit. they thinking that oh. it's so stupid anyway not i'm already pissed and you need me to whatever um <laughs> it's, i'm just gonna, gonna be a banger look at me bro this is my most anticipated shit ever right i'm gonna be holding this fucking axe this whole goddamn I'm ready to go away i'm ready for battle i will kill somebody right now i'm a wolf i'm a fucking bear wolf i'm the shit right um mm-hmm but I guess the more I kept looking into this movie, I, I like I don't know. I just thought it was gonna be because Robert Eggert's prior movies, The Witch, which I'm not a fan of. I, mm-hmm. I think it's slow. I think it's not scary. I think nothing really happens, right? And I ate it, put you up. And you like it. You enjoy it very much. And that's fine. You do you, right? But exactly. I didn't. I didn't write him off completely, even with the lighthouse. I think I watched that was remember when we were talking about oh watching movies by ourselves that's bullshit I went to go see that by myself Mm -hmm. because nobody else wanted to go see it I thought it was better than The Witch but it's a freakazoid movie and I sucked it oh yeah it's weird and I sucked it dick also isn't the aspect ratio fucked on that too or old school old school yeah and black and white four by three right and Mm -hmm. the, the way that the dialogue is written is like 
like dumbed down Shakespearean. Like it's very heavy dialogue, and yep. it, it, it's it's wild. The lighthouse was pretty wild. Is... Mm-hmm. Chickens and death. It's just weird. It's just a weird one. So when we saw, when I saw, I think I did. I was by myself when I saw this trailer. I was like, oh yeah, but I, I wasn't putting two and together that it was the same director. So I was like, ah, mm-hmm. oh, is he gonna make like this artsy fartsy fucking Viking movie? And it's gonna be. I mean, he did. But there's something different about this one. I don't know if it's because I'm 100 percent biased because I am a Viking. You know, I'm a Viking bear. You feel me? I don't know. Maybe, maybe because I'm I so mean, um, enthralled and so uh, I don't know if that's the right word. So enamored, so 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 captivated by the the Viking culture that I understand mm-hmm. everything. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. I understand. I usually don't understand shit in these artsy fartsy movies. But I understand everything. I understand. Understood every frame of the fucking movie. I understand what the purpose of everything was because everything in this movie has a fucking purpose, man. Uh huh. Keep punching this shit. Um, what's the way? Uh, the cast is wild. That's probably where the budget went. Maybe right. Mm-hmm. Well, I think no. So. Some of those action scenes are pretty wild. I'm just saying, the the cast is pretty wild. Alexander Skarsgård, who. You can fight me on this. Anybody can, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to say this right now. This motherfucker, way. Eh? And it's going to Has the best body in the game. Okay. In Hollywood. Okay. And, and, and. Mm-hmm. Don't forget. Mm-hmm. He looks like a fucking monster, way. He, that's what I'm saying. He's literally a Viking. He's, he's, he's literally a Viking. I forget. He's, I forgot how tall you is, way. He's tall and he's Icelandic also, isn't he? I think Skarsgård sounds around there. Sounds, <laughs> Skarsgård sounds I mean, cold. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's he looked and sound sounded just like his dad. Yeah, he's looking more and more like his dad. When he cut his hair. <laughs> when he cut his hair, he uh, he's a whoa. Uh-huh. He's, he's a, Swedish. Okay. Uh, he holy shit. Uno 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 noventa y cuatro a, a meter ninety four. Yeah. I don't know what that is in fucking feet, man. It's like, uh, it's like I'm a, gonna tell you like right me. now. It's, as tall as me, six four. I think I beat him out by a few inches. <laughs> I mean by a few whatever. I think, I think I'm around. I'm hovering around six five. He's a tall son bitch, way. But I ain't gotta buy like giant. that. He's got the best body in the game. His shoulders are stupid, right? His abs are ridiculous. His arms are fucking dumb, right? Yes, mm-hmm. you can put up against like um, he's he's six. He's six, bordering on six four. Yeah, he's six four. He's is six point three six feet. So let's say six four. So his 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 body's fucking stupid. Yes, you can put him. You can put any Marvel guy against him. I think I like his body better than um, um, Thor's. I think I like his body better than Aquaman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even mm-hmm. though Aquaman has like a, a more natural thing to it, just like juiced up a little bit. I don't know. There's something mm-hmm. about his body yeah, that I'm okay. like, okay, if I were to like ask me to, you know, kill somebody and have somebody's body, I think I would pick him. As much as I, ha- I, I like, I'm literally Aquaman in this picture in the background, right? I'm, in one of these pictures, I'm Aquaman's. But <sighs> because I'm into fitness, you know, and you only get. Yeah, uh, fitness is your life. Yeah, this is, fitness is my life. I'm starting getting into it, and you start to appreciate all the work that it takes to get to that. Because you just, oh, he's just a buff guy. Yeah, bitch, do 20 push-ups and then crying. Okay, how many push-ups and things do you think he did? So I, I, you start to appreciate more once you start exercising what it takes to get that. And it's fucking stupid. It's his body is stupid. Way. It's stupid. Mm-hmm. Way. Stupid. Because it's in his blood. <laughs> Stupid! It was enraging how fucking, how fucking dope it's. Sabroso, he fucking is, way no mames. Está rico el pendejo, way. Even since fucking Tarzan, I've been always saying Tarzan is the shit, right? And the movie's kind of dookie, but whatever. Nicole mm-hmm. Kidman is in there too. Ethan Hawke, Anya Taylor Joy, and William <laughs> Defoe, a bunch Jesus of other people. Jesus Christ! Yep, yep. Her performance. Even her was Bjork scary. was in this one. Oh, la Bjork, si cierto, way. I think she was the Valkyrie, wasn't she? No, she was the witch. Oh shit! She was the witch with the the blind witch with the stuff and the whatevers. Mm-hmm. 
So, um, what do you think about the Norsemen? I always want to call it Norsemen. It is not Norsemen. It's the Northmen. Yeah, they say Northmen a lot. Yeah. Um, I was also excited about this movie. Mm-hmm. I was really pumped. Uh, at first, they thought the kid looked like Mila Jovovich. I don't know if it if it if it made any sense, but he looked like her. Him as a kid. Yeah. Hmm. Looked a lot like her. But okay, ballpark. I oh, mm-hmm. it it had something visceral mm-hmm. that made me in some scenes go like, Ugh. yeah, like it 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 it, it strum that visceral string we it all makes have it uncomfortable. inside. Yeah, it makes you yes. very uncomfortable. You know, like you want to howl with these motherfuckers, or the, because if you're not, you feel weird. Exactly. Yeah. The there's not much dialogue in this movie. What? And I never thought there was any much uh, that much dialogue, but all of it I felt through their body language, their facial expressions, the way everything looked. I mean, that conveyed a lot of information. Also, there's hella dialogue, bro. What are you talking about? I mean, yeah, but compared to all the movies we've seen, normally of his. No, 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 not his. I mean, uh, every commercial movie we've seen. They're always talky, talky, talky. And here, it, 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 it's. I don't, I don't know. know. I, that there's I, definitely I, th- dialogue. I mean, of course there is. But I thought there was less dialogue in this than there would be in like an Avengers movie, of course, or yeah, a Spider-Man yeah. movie, or whatever. And that's what I'm saying. I mean, a lot of stuff is conveyed through emotions, through, through facial expressions and body language. That told me a lot, and the fight. Oh my god, the imagery, way. the fucking imagery. Yeah. And I'm just I'm not just talking about photography. I mean, I'm talking about um, things you see on screen. They don't shy away from nothing. No, it is brutal. And I, he he he. The way he was shooting things were pretty wild. Like he would come from like a moving state, right, and then just stay there. And sometimes the, the camera would be static, but you get every single part of the scene that you're supposed to get. Mm-hmm. And in the action scenes, he would follow him a lot. Like what we see in the trailer when he's when he jumps off the roof and then he just starts to go on ham on everybody and hitting motherfuckers off of horses and shit. Mm-hmm. That's what I, I asked you if it's if it's action heavy and you said it, it is it. And I think it, it really is. It's a Viking movie. How could it not? That's why I was like, okay, it's not action heavy. Well, Action heavy for me were more like those set pieces, but he he looked like an Assassin's Creed uh, assassin. Yeah, I, I was surprised of how sneaky sneaky he was. Um, but again, I don't know if because I I I appreciate and I and I like the lore behind the the whole the Viking lore and shit. But I understood every little reference that they were making with the with the ravens and the crows because that. That has to a lot to do with Odin. Then they would mention Odin. They would mention Hela, and I'm like, I know who those people are. I know, or I know what those those gods are and what they represent. And it's like, oh, what, what, you know? How did Odin lost his eye? I know Odin has a fucking eye patch. Mm-hmm. A lot of it has to do with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And then when they say Valhalla, I know what a Valha- I know what Valhalla is. I know what it. You have to do to get into Valhalla. So you have to die basically in battle or on your shield to get to Valhalla. That's a big deal. But it was it, okay. Speaking of that, the magic here is real. Mm-hmm. So the, uh, at first, I thought the magic was was like they're imagining shit, but like really, that's like uh, potions or tonics or whatever, like more n- nature shit. But here, magic is real in the sense that there's this scene where you see a woman, and she says. There's no strong people or there's no strong men in here. And she's all pissed off. But then later in the movie, you see who she is, actually. Mm-hmm. And I think that and does does Alexander um, like look straight at her? I don't remember. Because I, I can't remember if he did, but that was a Valkyrie. Yeah. And it, 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 I had to see the, the end of the movie to was like to be so it could dawn on me i was like Mm. oh shit so she was looking for honorable men to Mm. take to valhalla right and i'm like oh fuck and 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 there's a lot of stuff where uh, you see odin like like you see odin standing Mm. Mm. 
mm-hmm. on top of this guy. Yeah. You see a lot of magical stuff and, and fantastical stuff. So it's not just like grounded, but it does have that magical element but, that but it makes is ma- it is yeah, yeah, but it is grounded magic though. It it's not like oh, oh you no. know, here's some fairy dust. Oh no 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 no. They they Robert disguises it with like uh not spells but like like um what's the word i'm trying to look for like when he did like when uh they were howling in the beginning Mm -hmm. right and then the kid had an out-of-body experience Mm -hmm. where he's he sees himself and he's floating over everybody they disguise it as like enchantments or they disguise it like that but it's like magic that could actually happen of like you've heard experiences of people on acid and shit oh i had an Mm -hmm. out-of-body experience that's how they kind of hide the magic uh, it was dope how a lot of the chaos he really didn't partake in a lot of the chaos as much as he was a Viking mm-hmm. you know a lot of the chaos was always behind him like in that scene he's standing there just stoically just looking around he didn't grab anybody he didn't set anybody on fire um, after the battle you know I'm saying the, the raping and the pillaging he didn't really take oh, yeah. place in that and I just thought that was a brilliant way of showing how focused and how deadline he was in in his goal in his goal of vengeance mm-hmm. um i don't know it, so was the did you feel like the dialogue was a little complicated or a little iffy or no, no never yeah okay because it sounds like it would be <laughs> but it's not it's no, very it's, easy to understand everything every single word that they were saying like i was impressed with myself like or oh, i don't know if it was on, on them or i'm like i'm not fucking total you know tater tot i know what the hell they're saying no, it, it sounds complicated because of maybe the accent is part of it. Yeah. But I never felt it was complicated. I, it was quite easy to understand it. But the, the accent kind of threw me off a couple of times. Uh, at the beginning, I was getting Lion King vibes. Oh, well, it's a Lion King movie. It's, it's a Lion King. It's, um, it's a rated R guy? Viking Lion King movie. Oh, not e- well, if you go even back, it's uh this, this Shakespearean one. What was it? I forget because there's elements of the other one too but i don't want to say anything because it's going to spoil a little bit the other one the uh, the, the one with the guy and the in the person <laughs> i don't know, I forget there's uh, one where, where was it hamlet this was something like yeah i mean lion king is definitely i think it was hamlet but there's another one where i can't say it because i don't want to spoil it because it's okay. a big it's a big reveal because you have suspicions and i like where in movies they hint at him so no, you can think it, about it. When I when I can't figure out the ending. Oh yeah. That's what I love cuz I'm sitting there and I'm thinking ahead. I don't uh, for some reason I'm not in the moment just taking in and taking it for face value. I like to think okay, but if he's doing this then this means that this is going to happen, right? Mm-hmm. So there's kind of a fake out towards the end, but then it's not a fake out, but then this happens and then there's another fake out between the other fake out. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, Felix. Mm, no. Uh but towards the end i just didn't know what was going to happen is mm-hmm. he going to complete his mission is he going to fuck off what's going to happen right yeah without saying anything i was just like okay yeah okay it makes sense i kind of knew that that was going to happen but then this happened i'm like oh shit and then how it ends i'm like oh fuck okay shit right <laughs> um i like when i can't figure out movies right yeah i, I hate it when i figure mm-hmm. out to the t what's going to happen which is almost every mainstream movie yeah and i say mainstream because it's, it's like a blockbuster movie yeah but I, I i almost wouldn't consider this a block but i don't know this is like a weird has like an indie feel to it almost but it's not who produced this bitch uh filming location iceland yo the 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 the, the things uh, official focus mm. focus remember that one the focus yeah the landscapes are fucking beautiful bay oh my god the, the nature shots are I thought it was the, CGI, but nah. It's like me they were, too. They fucking shot that shit there. In the waterfall, remember that one? Mm-hmm. When he's in a hot spring? Mm-hmm. I thought that was CGI. Yeah. It fucking wasn't. No. I got floored. Yeah, but there's definitely a lot of uncomfortable scenes where you're like, oh my oh God. shit. There's uncomfortable have- of what they're doing, and then mm-hmm. there's uncomfortable visual, visceral images like guts spilling out and heads being chopped off and it's like that's what i expect 
from a Viking movie, you know? People in the audience were like, oh, so wait. You're like, dude, like, chillax. I'm like, no, bitch. This is Vikings, bruh. This is what the fuck we do, dog. No chill, bitch. No chill. Fucking chill. And what I like is that they also incorporated a lot of the animal stuff. Mm -hmm. which is deep in the in like in the lore they would like they have to start howling and all that stuff in the to like pump themselves up and get ready for battle like like conjure the wolf spirit or whatever they are and then he's really in tune with the little fox and there's other stuff right so they're very in tune with the with nature in that way and i really really appreciate it. i get that a lot a lot like assassin's creed valhalla helps like a slum bitch comes like oh yeah 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 that that and this and the new one and the hell the gates of hell and then because it was a thing oh it's the one in america the sword and then that the sword was magic too it was like oh fuck what the fuck's going on I, how he I, won the sword was also brilliant that was great but see that's that's what i meant going back to what i'm saying it's magic but it's not magic taking place in our world it's a magic in like a stratosphere in like a in like a different dimension in the world kind of mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying to what's happening right now right so, so if you like happening there right if you walk up into that mm-hmm. moment in his head what he's doing is not what's happening you know he's just standing mm-hmm. there same with when when with the kid in the in the in the rituals ritual mm-hmm. was the word i was looking for before with the rituals it's all this guy was was which rituals and how the witches know everything and the druids and the thing it's fucking dope and yeah, there was it, another scene with a decapitation or a death mm-hmm. that it was kind of fucked up mm-hmm. and it was so to me it felt so outlandish mm-hmm. that i also busted out laughing mm-hmm. it so was you, so you, I don't know, it you was, laugh in uncomfortable situations kind of yeah you, like but your body was, doesn't know how to react the other way but to laugh no my body knew how to react because it was like oh wow this is so is so uh i mean i i would say that that's how my body processes something that feels so outlandish Mm -hmm. for example the oh shit the (laughs) i giggled with the with the first night attack do you remember that one Mm -hmm. okay i giggled i was like (laughs) that's so fucked up yeah I was again, and and since my voice is is not the the quietest one, I, I was and I was hurt. I was heard. Yeah, like yeah. A lot of people looked at me, but in that scene, the most fucked up thing was that a couple brought their kids to see that movie. What the fuck are you doing, people? And when that was in the screen, the kid, one of the kids, the the little boy, just walked up to his dad. He said something, and I heard his dad go, "Go sit down." <laughs> I'm like, dude, what is your fucking problem? You fucking wild. I mean, they're just ignorant. You're not. You don't know what the fuck you're gonna go see. Wait, that's why. I, that's why I was like, why do you want to see this movie? I don't know how people operate it. They just go see stuff to go see stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Hold on. I thirsty. Man. I, uh, I got a skull right now, dog. Skull, bro. And a skull. You're drinking out of a fucking horn, aren't you? Yeah. You dick. It's a skull. <laughs> You're drinking out of a skull? <laughs> yeah. A la verga, That's way. how we do, you, bro. You went hardcore with it. When they say skull, I know what the fuck that means. It's like, cheers. They used to say that. They drink out of the skull of their enemies. It's so fucking savage, dog. And then here's me trying not to bump people at the swap meet and try to be all polite and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it it's definitely match. uncomfortable. Like, I, 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 because uh, nobody else wanted to go with me. I'm like, Mama, I want to go to movies. <laughs> so I took me, Mama. And I was like, kind of weird. Like, when you're watching sex on this fucking screen with your parents, mm-hmm. a lot of the movie was like that. I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, you, you feel weird because you put them in this situation, right? I'll see you. <laughs> so I was like, guts spilling out and fucking head chops. And I'm, she's really not about that life. Mm-hmm. But this is how good the movie is. My mama falls asleep 80% of the time. The first thing I what? asked her was she coming did- out was like, Ma, did you fall asleep? She was like, no, I didn't. I couldn't. Holy shit. I couldn't. The, it, it, she says the movie has to grab her for her not to fall asleep. This movie grabs you and doesn't let go for over two hours. And The movie was what, two and a half hours long? Well, IMDb says 216, but I think it was around 220. Mm-hmm. It didn't feel long to me because I could have sat there for another two hours and not given a fuck. Mm-hmm. But I did think for a split second, like, yo, is this going to end anytime soon or what? 
you know but not in a good way just just curious because just the 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 the, the story has a natural you know even flow to it you know it does this happens and that happens and then there's a moment where you're like okay it's over but then it circles back around mm -hmm. but I, I i didn't i didn't didn't feel the time usually uh, over two hours you're like oh man okay what's going on right but no everything is just so visceral everything is just so powerful the screams the blood it's just wild it's just wild i left the theater pretty fucking exhausted i'm not gonna lie it's mentally taxing. Yeah. I, mean, I, I mean, every one of his movies, those three one. The, I, I would say that this is the only one I would watch again. Yeah, because I the Witch watch I've only again. watched once. The Lighthouse I only watched once, and I went. I, I I felt so tired, mentally drained after watching them. Then I said, okay, you know what? Like Birdman, I haven't yeah. ever touched it again. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but this one, I felt the length, but I was all up in it. I was like, okay, give me more. Yeah, give me to me, fuck it. Yeah, I I left speechless. I didn't know what to say or how to say it. I, I had to decompress and and process everything because it was just so much good stuff for me that I was like, okay, is there any is there actually anything negative about this movie? I couldn't find it. I mean, there's people who are gonna find some negative shit on. It. I don't Again, know. if you're not into that kind of stuff, like I wasn't about that witch life, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't like it, right? And I, it's, I'm not saying that he was a bad director for because I didn't like The Witch. I saw a lot of people liking The Witch, <clears throat> so I would, I would be, I would take the fault on that. I'd be like, "That's me. That's on me. That's not on him." Same with The Lighthouse. You have to. This is how. I, this is what I was thinking. He is a fucked up Wes Anderson. Oh, see. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> He's a fucked up oh, Wes Anderson. I, there's a lot of people. Could, you couldn't put it better, man. Right. There's a lot of people who do not are are not into Wes Anderson movies. Oh my you god. You know, yeah. they, they they feel yeah. like they're stupid or they're long or they doesn't make sense or whatever, right? There's other people who are like, okay, I appreciate for what it is, and it it's dope, and look at how sit look how perfect every scene is or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. He's like that in a fucked up way he wants to show you some fucked up shit he wants to fuck with your mind he's a sick motherfucker way he's a sick motherfucker way he's sick but in a good and way I applaud him for that i i did leave like when the when the credits started rolling i thought was like was that the greatest thing i've ever seen in my life i was like i was so high on this fucking movie going in and it didn't mm -hmm. disappoint that i don't think there's a negative thing to say for it uh so for me for me, it's a 10. 10, 10, 10 10s across the board. Way. I'm up there with you. <clears throat> this is a 10 way. I could not imagine uh, giving it a lower grade. A lower, yeah, grade because it was a roller coaster ride. Yeah. It was. The visuals were gorgeous. Yeah. And I can't, I can't say anything. I can't. Other I, than I'm trying. Fucking great. Greatness. I mean, can't I can't say anything negative? Nope, I, I can't either. Is it too long? Maybe, but it's not long enough for me to like dock any points. Mm-hmm. This is the best. Okay, it's again the best is a fucking t is a tough word way. But this is this is for me. This is the best movie I've seen since The Joker. Holy shit! Yeah. I'm going to buy this shit. I'm going to buy Blu-ray. I'm going to own it. I want it. I want it. And I don't buy movies regularly. Go listen to the pod. And I was talking about the collection stuff. You have to be worthy to enter my collection. This is definitely worthy. This is a display piece. I'm, this is one I'm going to be proud of. I'm going to, I'm willing to go watch it again in the theater. And I don't do that shit at all. Oh yeah. The last this movie I did was with that was the Joker. Mm hmm. So because I flaked on boss man, if nobody wants to go see him, I'll be like, all right, let's go. I'll do. I'll do it again. I'll sit through a two and a half hour movie again. I don't know. Are we overhyping oh, it? I don't know. I feel like I don't know. <clears throat> this it seven is, at uh, IMDb is what's fucking me up. The seven point nine. Like, who the fuck is you? Is why? Why are you? Why are you rating it so low? Mm -hmm. Well, mm, I'll think about this. Most most uh, normally. 
Mm-hmm. The critics give, give low scores to movies that have how, like totally high scores with the uh, with the people. Yeah, the, the the critics and the and the users are completely flipped. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I fucking love this movie. I think it's it's great. I think it it, it does everything right visually, space wise, action wise. You know, there might be a split second where he jumps off the the even in the trailer where he jumps off the the like the roof onto the guy. He it kinda, looks kind of weird. It looks kind of weird, like he's on strings, mm-hmm. right? Because on the angle, because his feet, he's like going at an angle. He's like mm-hmm. diagonal with it, and he lands perfectly. It's just a little weird. That's probably the only negative I can say about the movie. Yeah, it did not feel natural. That yeah, that did not feel natural. But. Throwing axes on motherfuckers' heads, chopping people's heads off. And it's not just that. There's a bunch of creepy shit leading up to that. You're almost waiting for the action scenes to decompress the creepy shit that you saw 20 minutes before. Mm -hmm. And there's dialogue. There's no filler, I feel like. No. No, this is a... uh, I do think this is a consistent movie. I fucking hate filler. There's no filler in this movie. And it's two and a half hours long almost, right? Mm Mm-hmm. There's moments where he's pondering, but that and or just sitting there or or taking in his environment, like I said before. But that has a meaning. Everything has a meaning to it. There's some fucking ravens picking at some shit that fucking means something. Mm-hmm. The daddy was the fucking king of the ravens or whatever the fuck. Everything has a meaning to it. Every little scene has something to do. Everything, every every scene <laughs> means something, and I, I enjoy that. I appreciate that. Shout outs to Robert Eggers. <clears throat> I'm not. I mean. I, it sounds like he's he's crawling up your ladder on like best directors right now. Yes, that <laughs> is a a very <laughs> accurate assumption. Because of the other two prior, I'm not willing to say that. I mean, yeah, he's dope, right? But he's not creeping into my like my favorites. But he's more like a like like I said, like a Wes Anderson thing. I know what I'm gonna get now going into that, mm-hmm. right? It's like it's like it's the reputation he's developed, similar to Michael Bay. You're gonna go see a fucking boom booms with Michael Bay, right? Mm-hmm. You're gonna go see a fucking boom booms. That's all he does. He does fucking boom booms. Robert Eggers does creepy shit. Creepy, beautiful looking shit. You know what I wanted? I would want him to do, but even what? though they already got a screenwriter and everything, I would want him to do the Ghost of Tsushima movie. Oh, that would be amazing. Fucking shit. That would be fucking amazing, Ray. That would be dope. Is he from Scotland? Where's he from? Eggers? Robert Eggers? I do not know. Let me just check. Because he's like, he is New Hampshire way. No mames. Pinchy Gringo way. Well, kudos to New Hampshire for bringing us Robert Eggers. He's fucking young way. Yeah. Sick fuck. What's wrong with you? I mean, he's only three movies in, but still. I love you, Robert. He's got a bunch of documentaries and other shorts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This I thought this movie was fantastical. Uh, we graded it. Let us know what you thought down in the comments down below. Are we overreacting? Did you agree? Did you disagree? Any and all thoughts down there in the comments down below. Make sure you tune in next week. I think it's fair to say we're going to do Fantastic Beasts, bro. Yep. Pretty much Very a lock-in. Pretty much a lock-in. Uh, we're going to take a, a few a few weeks of break of the uh, list, but make sure you subscribe to the channel. There's going to be changes coming, especially in the month of May. Uh, stay tuned for that. Go listen to the pod if you haven't. Audio Realm Geeks with and Joysticks on the Instagram as well. I have a personal channel, E-Y-E-W-A-I-I, on the YouTubes where I review video games. The latest game up now is Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. Listen to the pod so you can... Hear me spew about Kingdom Hearts for about 40 minutes. Uh, Yeah. Anything you want to say to the beautiful people? Felix. Yeah. Uh, raise your horns and skull. Okay. I thought you were going to say something else. Oh, the fire. You do you. Bye. That's a good one. That's a good one. Was gonna say. Uh, uh, I'll avenge your father. I'll save oh. your mother. Now kill no, no, you. You said that at the, at the, at the Fjolnir. Yeah, I said it and you fucked it up, eh? <laughs> <laughs>